Welcome to the Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar. Two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's the Rocket Right Show. And now, here's Betsy and Kay. And welcome to the show, y'all. And it's officially summertime. Woohoo! I know. Yeah. We're so excited. And so we're just going to focus on fun. That's it. At the beginning of the show here, we're talking fun, 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 because that's what summertime means. Yep. And I've got with me Andrew Salto with Sugarfield Distillery. Thank so if you you're for looking, me, Kay. Yeah, yeah. if you're looking for a good time, it's just right around the corner. It is. It is. We uh, uh, we we have a great little distillery. Uh, I know you've been there before, uh, but we just put out a new menu uh, this past weekend, and it's uh, it's it's focused on exactly that. It's summertime fun. Uh, I've got a drink that uh, just the the first drink on the menu is uh, is is a watermelon daiquiri. Mm, I love that. Uh, and I think you made so me something good. watermelon yep. when I was there b- yep. before. And it was probably something totally different because I know y'all change up the menu. We do. And I was up. following you. I was following you on uh-huh. Facebook. And I saw that brand new menu come out for summertime. Yep. And I was like, man, look well, at the names on those drinks. Yeah. It makes me want to have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, what we did was uh, we named them all after just uh, great little jokes in the... Uh, in television shows, so uh, me and my bartender, we were just sitting around and uh, just started riffing and uh, came up with some fun names. So uh, the, uh, uh, the they're called great names like uh, the first one that I was. Uh, it's Dayman Fighter of the Nightman. I know. And, I was like, what is that? Yeah, it's the, probably a show I'm not yeah, watching because yeah, uh, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, it. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, Got I love it. that show. I think I'm the only person that watches that show though, because th- nobody else gets I, that one either. I've heard other people say uh, that yeah, they watch that yeah. show, but I, I love it. I think it's I think it's great, and if I think it's funny, we're gonna. Go well, the cool it, thing yeah. is, y'all yeah. have so many products right. to choose from to make your cocktails. Right. It's crazy. You know, I want you to give people who don't know about Sugar Phil, sure. uh, give them a lowdown on, you know, wh- wh- how y'all came up with this concept, how it got started, and it's a little family business. Yeah, it's me and my brother. Uh, we opened uh, two and a half years ago now, so uh, January of 2020. It's been about seven years in the making, though. We uh, uh We've been working hard on this. Uh, Y'all were brainstorming for a while. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, we call it research and development. That's where you uh, go to bars and distilleries and restaurants and drink a man, lot. Man, what, yeah. what cool kind of hey, research. I love it. Hey, somebody's got to do it, man. I mean, we're we're, we're hardworking people, so uh, we get out mm-hmm. there and do the work so that other well, people don't have to do it. We'll you know? talk about the work. Yeah. You know, a lot of times folks say, you know, just do one thing so yep. it'll be really good focus, because if you focus, do focus. too many too many things it's not good but you have a lot of products and i have to say they are all good gotcha so yeah. y'all did your research well we did and uh we uh like you to know we're, we're just getting started with it too uh my 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 brother this is his creative avenue we've got so much good stuff coming out uh, I'm so proud of some some great products that we have coming out. Uh, some I can talk about, some uh, some I can't talk about yet. But, because uh, it's a secret. But you yeah, know what? If they if, if they follow you on social media, yeah. they'll be the first to know. Yeah, just follow us on when uh, something comes out. On yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we're all over that. And, yeah, you uh, can see good pictures of those cocktails and make right. you want to like stop by. Talk about where this distillery is located. Sure, we're in Gonzales, Louisiana, uh, right off of Burnside, right near Burnside and Thirty. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, um, so you've got lots of different products, and sure. I see that you brought a few. I you did. Wanna, you want to talk about yeah. uh, some of those? Sure. So, uh, I, I have three with me out right now, uh, and these three are, uh, well, they're great for summertime. So, uh, the one in the middle is our lemon liqueur. Uh, this is, uh, it's a Myers lemon liqueur. It's, it's really, really nice. Uh, it makes great summertime drinks. Uh, when I... Sip, sip it by the pool. You could put it in uh, your iced tea. You could put it in your lemonade. Like that's it's it's just really killer with that. Uh, we we actually have this year's being re released this weekend. So uh, yeah. that's why I brought that one with me. I know. I love that. Yeah. So so it comes out on Saturday. Saturday is the first yeah. time you can come purchase it. 
this at Saturday distillery. at the distillery is the first time you can get our new lemon for this year. Uh, the other two I brought with me are uh, our honey liqueur and our aged rum. So uh, both of these are in distribution now. So uh, these are our newest uh, two that we put into distribution. And uh, look for these at you know any of our sponsored places or places that have picked us up. Uh, we got them coming. Uh, lots of great cocktails with these two. And, yeah. Uh, so yeah. tell us a little bit about the honey liqueur is it got i know you use a lot of louisiana products sure, in sure your do. stuff yeah. tell us a little bit about the honey that's used in it yeah absolutely so the honey that's used in this is uh it's local honey in fact uh some of the honey comes from our bees so we have bees behind the distillery you do Yes, we oh, do. Okay. Wow. So now you're really self-sufficient there. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We uh, uh, we have a bee guy. Uh, shout out to James uh, and uh, James Merriman. What's up, man? Uh, uh, he he helps us with the bees and uh, you know make sure they're they're nice and healthy. The girls are flying around getting their honey, staying mite free. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely, when we say shop local, doesn't get more get, local than doesn't that. get more yeah. local than yeah. uh, than that. And so it, y'all y'all hit right with your opening just before COVID. Cool. So it was a little bit of challenging time as for getting things out there, I would imagine. Yeah, we uh, we had some rough times. Uh, the uh, we 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 stayed pretty positive through uh, through COVID, uh, but uh, there certainly were times where it was uh, it was it was touch and go. I mean, we were all we were all in this together so i mean it uh, i mean i mean when we first started it was you know just the hand sanitizer we did whatever we could to help and mm-hmm. uh, we gave hand sanitizer out at the at the distillery for for a couple of weeks until uh the fda started getting really uh into it and uh we uh we weren't interested in selling it we just right. didn't think it was the the right right thing to do so we uh we just gave it away hooked up a lot of uh great I mean, first responders hooked up sheriff's departments, police departments, That's great. Uh, daycares, hospitals, anybody we could help, we uh, we helped out. And that's great. And that's yeah. great. And I think that maybe did did y'all uh, concoct a lot of other uh, types of liqueurs during this time uh, in your uh, chemistry lab that's back in there? Uh. Yeah, we, uh, you alluded to something earlier about how, you know, uh, some people really focus down and, and go, uh, that was not the way we did it at all. We, we decided we wanted to go the opposite way and just kind of uh, uh, find out what, what really works. And uh, me and my brother, we sat down and we had a meeting one day and we were I mean, do we need to focus down? And uh, uh, the answer to that question is absolutely. We definitely need to focus a little more. Uh, we both have ADD really bad, so we're always just bouncing around doing different things. You know, things. I, I think that a, a little ADD is good. I think it is, too, you man. I, it, this life would be really boring if, uh, you know, I was super focused. Right. Like, well, yeah. rattle off some of the products because you sure. go well do they do they have whiskey or do they have you know vodka the answer would be pretty much all of it yeah we have <laughs> uh we have we have a lot uh we have uh vodka uh we we have a lot of different rums we have probably seven different white rums so seven different unaged drums i also have an aged drum also have a spice drum uh, we we have French style rum. We have Cuban style rum. Uh, we have like five different cu- French style rums. Just just lots of different things. We really have fallen in love with spirits, and uh, I mean we have gin, uh, which was amazing. Yeah, you know um, I did try one of your gin cocktails when visiting there. When it was. Thank you. So good. The gin's my baby. Like, uh, I'm involved with every single spirit that comes out of the distillery, but uh, the gin was the first that I did solo. I did all the research and development on it. Uh, I did all the uh, uh, recipe, uh, getting the recipe together, and uh, uh, and then the actual distilling. I I distilled it first. And the flavored liqueurs. I mean, where else can you go and get kumquat? I yep. didn't even know what what kumquat was, you know. Yeah, we have a kumquat, kumquat low quat. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we have a so satsuma strawberry. Uh, yeah, 
coffee, coffee cream. I mean, we have a lot of stuff. Basically, what we what we find is when we find a good local flavor, we try to put it in a bottle. And I love that. Yeah. And talking about putting it in a bottle, he's going to be putting it in a glass yep. and sharing yep. some of these summertime cocktails when we come back after this commercial break. And so y'all are going to stay put. It's definitely your drink for the summer, y'all. There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. The use of opioids and addiction to opioids is on the rise, especially in Louisiana, and I wanted to be a part of the solution. If you have a family member or loved one that you are concerned about with regard to opioid use, please call my clinic, Advantage Health Solutions. You can speak with my nurse or you can speak with myself, and we will talk to you about how to get that person into treatment, and we'll tailor what we do to your needs, and we'll do what we can to get your loved one in treatment and onto the path to health. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser of the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014, with a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. chat we believe special places shouldn't go undiscovered and good stories shouldn't go unheard imagine exploring a new area while listening to amazing stories about the places and people who made it what it is today this great waterway courses through 10 states starting in northern minnesota and ending in louisiana the connectivity of the river drains 41 percent of the continental united states and carries more water than any other waterway the fabric of america truly is woven from the common thread of the mississippi river this community tapas bar and grill reels in, sautés, and perfectly plates earthy yet refined flavors by marrying chic urban elegance with rustic Spanish simplicity. We transport flavors from traditional Spain fused with international tastes. Over 240 different species of birds have been spotted making their homes around and in this lake. This beautiful lake is a great place for all kinds of recreation, like fishing, boating, picnicking, and a beautiful walking trail. When you discover new places and learn what the locals already know, you maximize your experience. Fill your tote with local treasures ranging from... Immerse yourself in the culture and communities that surround you. With up to 12 categories to select from, stories are delivered to you based on your interest. Trip Chat, the free audible tour guide app that helps you discover great places through authentic storytelling. So you eat, stay, and play like a local. Download Trip Chat then drive, walk, or run, and go find your fun. 
Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Rocket Right Show. I'm Dr. Kay Solar in the house flying solo this week, except for my exceptional guest because Hurricane Betsy, well, it is hurricane season, yep. but that's not why she's, she's not here. It's because tourism is picking up because it's summertime and she is busy at some events for the Lieutenant Governor. And uh, so I'm going to continue this discussion about summertime and fun time with my guest, Andrew Salto is Sugarfield Distillery. Thanks yeah. for hanging with me some more. Oh, no problem. Because, you know, I okay. remember when we chatted before, we talked about yeah. all the great products, and I don't think we had time to make any cocktails. Yeah. And I'm, you know, I haven't been out there yet because I've been running back and forth to Nashville. Right. And I know that you, granted, you did just release the summertime menu. So. I, I did. I did. I mean, and like a day or two. So I'm like, not totally missing out yet. And, and believe it or not, we already have summer two menu or menu summer two ready. Uh, oh, just about ready. Once we put a menu out, we start working immediately on the next menu. Uh, just I like that yeah, planning ahead. Gotta, yep, and, uh, and we'll test the drinks out and make sure they're they're good and doable. Because mm -hmm. the worst thing is is when you have a menu and it drops and you realize day one that one of the drinks just doesn't work. That's not good. That's not good and, and it's yeah. so good that you've tested it all oh, out yeah. for us. Yeah. And so, so what are you going to make for us on the show here? And, you know, I'll have to tell Betsy how good it is because it's all for me. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, so, so what I made here, uh, this is, uh, we call it a True American FDR JFK. Uh, that's a joke from uh, New Girl. It's a show that uh, okay. we, were, we were talking about. Yeah, obviously, it, that that one, yeah, this, I'm, yeah. I, I, I am like behind on these. I well, mean, I don't like, know. It's part of the fun of the whole. Like when you name a when you have these weird names for drinks, some people get them, some people don't. That's okay. I still yeah. like the weird names, well, even if I don't get it. Yeah. Well, let me tell you the the. <laughs> I mean, I do. I mean, like, the the cocktail is, itself is is really amazing. What it is is uh, it's our uh, it's it's our bourbon. This is our batch seven bourbon, and uh, we made a special simple syrup for this. So it's a. Uh, a sage simple syrup mm. uh, with honey. We use honey instead of uh, sugar in this one, and uh, and then a little lemon. And uh, it comes out. This is a great summer cocktail because it, it has a little like bit it. of the herbal flavor from that sage. And uh, okay, I am and then lemon. gonna like partake. jump on in. Do that. Yeah, you know, because I mean, if you made it, I mean. Yep, and I mean, tell me that doesn't taste like a true American FDR. Jacket. Oh yes, that's good stuff, right? It's yeah. some good stuff. Cool. That is good so, stuff. The taste of summer. Yeah. The yeah. taste of summer right awesome. there. Well, okay, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Well, and I, I'm going to tell you all, who likes a wine dinner? I, I mean, it, right? I mean, everybody yeah. loves a wine pairing dinner. But when y'all did the cocktail pairing dinner at Rouge Creole that I attended, yep. it just took that to the next level. Can you imagine having amazing cocktails that are paired with amazing food. I mean, it's yeah. So one pretty of the crazy. things I really and you can still walk out of there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like I, one of the things I really like is is partying with chefs. Chefs are some of the coolest people out there, and chefs love pairings. And what they Thank really you. like is to be challenged in a pairing. Yeah, and like wine, wine. Like I love wine. Don't get me wrong. Wine is great. Me too. But it's kind of easy. You can pair wine pretty easily. White goes with fish. Red goes with spicy. You know, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I. But uh, when, when you're using cocktails, you really have to to know what you're doing, and you really have mm -hmm. to like you can't space it out. Like you got to get in there and and, and and work work these cocktails out because uh, you can change flavors around in the cocktails. You're not you're not 
playing with a static thing like a wine. You're playing with something that you can change around and Well, I was boy, so amazed how well the drinks and a lot of like you mentioned the house made simple syrup with yeah. sage and stuff. And y'all did that with a lot of the cocktails uh-huh. and you're like, oh my gosh. And then that just brought out the flavor of whatever was in the food. And it was, it was so crazy how yeah. they, they paired yeah. so well. We, uh, we have a lot of fun with that. And uh, yeah, we're uh, continuing to do that. We're, we've been working with uh, several restaurants. I don't have anything that I can say that we have coming up right now, but they are coming. It's well uh, because right y'all been doing corner. a few. I I hit the one at Rouge Creole, but oh, y'all were so also good, yeah. at Proverbial Correct. and at City Pork yep. uh, Brasserie, which I hated. I was out of town and I missed uh, those two because I was were, so looking so forward good. to another one. Yeah. After that, I was just like, wow, yeah, this is just yeah, uh, an eleven, uh-huh. you know, on uh-huh. the scale. So yeah, so uh, I, I guess I got to give a shout out to uh, Anna Anna Pendergrass Bowling. She's our uh, one of our salespeople and she she goes and makes these cocktails with our she, she's one of our salespeople she makes cocktails and and works out with these with these chefs and uh, uh then you know i just sweep in in the end and and introduce them and talk about the spirits and talk about that like so i i, I mean my part of this is like i well, really the fun if you part, follow you know? yeah. their social media, I'm sure whatever you can't announce just yet because it's not set right. in stone, it will be on there. And yep. trust me, you want to go to it. Yeah, they're yeah. they're so much fun, and uh, it's uh, it's really just a culinary just adventure that you don't have to. You it could, is. You, you have it right here. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have it to go is, to New York. It is for great. This. And so right folks can you know they can come out to the distillery. They can right. try your cocktail menu. They yep. can. Go home with and uh, make their own with some of these uh, uh, great spirits. Yep. But you also are at several of the area restaurants that yeah. are in their featured cocktails, as well as probably at some other stores where they can like where they shop and can take them home. Can you tell us where? else folks can find it yeah uh well uh i know city group is a big sponsor of this show and uh they're a big i mean they support us very well uh uh, said we're at all the city group restaurants so you know the city porks and the proverbials and the rouge creoles uh, yeah i know they have so so many oh yeah Yeah, Yeah, they're they're correct and city slice don't forget city slice that that absolutely uh but uh we're also at a lot of different restaurants uh and and other stores i mean we're we're if your favorite liquor store doesn't have us they they should just tell them to contact us or tell me where where they're at i'll go talk to them you know and uh but you know we're at all the we're we're at all the rouses we're at we're at hocus pocus hocus pocus is awesome uh oak point is a great supporter of ours we 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 just actually did a single barrel with them uh it just came out this past weekend it's it's really incredible it's a it's a rye single barrel that we did. Really, really good. Well, that's been one of the things where you've uh, made the expansion uh-huh. uh, as things like opened up with COVID and getting into to new markets, new new stores, getting to do, uh, uh, you know, these types of things in the restaurants. Thank goodness. You yeah. Know, we're like just... back open up, you know, now to be able to enjoy. Right. Our know, plan was originally to start in the restaurant so starting the on-premise and then move to the off-premise that kind of makes sense uh but uh covid said not today no guys. backwards we're gonna, dude. We're gonna do backwards. it backwards yeah. <laughs> so we'll talk about expansion because sure. y'all are going to be adding on at the distillery so oh, it's not going to be just yeah. spirits Absolutely. can you talk about that and Abs- yeah yeah so yeah. uh in the next month or so we're uh uh, dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's right now, getting the details mm-hmm. done at our uh, new expansion. So we we are opening a uh, uh, a winery, cidery, and uh, we have beer as well. We have a brewery that's uh, going in. So uh, my so when we talk about really yeah. covering the gamut, yeah, <laughs> of whatever you like, there isn't somebody anybody who comes out there if they yeah. say, well, I don't drink you know alcohol liquor or i only do wine or i only drink beer i mean you've got something for everybody now we we got a little something for everybody and uh uh, what i really like is to introduce people to new stuff and uh i think that's uh what we really are uh looking to do out there you know uh we're doing a a different take on everything uh Mm -hmm. we're we're the cider is uh it's 
probably the thing I'm most excited about. Well, but the, the wine is too. I, mean, I can't. I can't wait. I mean, we only got thirty seconds left. Yeah. Go out on a Sunday. Bring your dog. There you go. Come out with your pups. Follow yeah. them on social media. Go to the website. It's sugarfuelspiritsla.com. Is that That's right? That's it. Yeah. Where'd you go? I got oh, it because yeah. see, I've been there. I've been yep. following them. Uh, follow them on Facebook, Instagram. That's it. And uh, you will be in the know. There you go. And, you know, maybe you'll uh, come out and they make cockatiels. Is that right? Cockatiels, yeah, yeah. Cockatiels for the pups. So y'all make sure, bring your pup. They won't be left out. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you, Kay. And make sure and say hey to Andrew and he'll make you a fantastic cocktail. So up up. next, we've got Shelly Simmons. We're going to talk about the real estate market in Louisiana. What's going on here? Stay put. Cancer is our sole focus at Mary Bird Perkins. Every decision we make is centered around furthering care and lessening the burden of this disease. That absolute focus on cancer allows us to provide breakthrough treatments as we continue to raise the bar and enhance patient outcomes as Louisiana's premier cancer care organization. Whatever cancer sends our way, together, we triumph. Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Ripe Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Ripe Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser of the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. As AmeriCorps members and volunteers, we do more than talk about our core values. We take action and commit to making our community stronger. At AmeriCorps, my commitment to equity gives every student a strong start. Our compassion brings food and friendship to neighbors in need. My determination protects sparks in my community. Now more than ever, your community needs you. What's at your core? Learn more at AmeriCorps.gov. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014. With a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Properties real estate experts Jeff Taylor and Reed Taylor understand Louisiana and Mississippi real estate. Whether you're interested in buying or selling large or small tracts of property in Louisiana or Mississippi, Jeff and Reed are the right realtors for whatever you need. Contact Jeff Taylor at 601-248-9433 or Reed Taylor at 601-248-9614. Whitetailproperties.com. 
At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-003. Three one or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. And you're back with the Rocket Right Show. I'm Dr. K. Solar in the house with my very good friend here Shelly Simmons who's been a real estate agent for some time and boy the market is really doing a lot of crazy stuff right now you know the market is definitely complicated uh, complicated. complicated I think that's a good word and we're gonna get into that in a minute but I want you to tell folks I mean you've been a realtor for a while uh, give, give Get right over 19 background. right over 19 years k uh in in the baton rouge uh, in the baton rouge market uh started off with siraj realtors uh okay. which was an incredible company because it attracted really high-minded realtors uh that were all focused on excellent service results for our clients and so i've done several things uh, in terms of managing brokers brokerages uh selling real estate of course but in the last month I decided to, it was time for me to put on my big girl pants and and really recreate what I think is missing in the Baton Rouge market as it relates to a company that really attracts high-minded people who have unparalleled service standards for their clients, deliver results, and really give back to our communities. And I love that. In fact, so did the folks passing by. You know, you just got a, a horn to right there. <laughs> So, big old clap. Uh, I know it's kind of scary sometimes going out, you know, on your on your own. But then a lot of times you've had so much experience, you're probably pulling from that. And and did COVID was that kind of an impetus for like going, hey, this is this is time. You now? know, it's really interesting because the I think it started at that point, but when you're in a position of managing you know i was managing 100 agents at ladder and bloom wow their their peace of mind and their ability to function in terms of servicing their clients and staying out of the negative was really became very important to me so from that standpoint their and um, their mental health and making sure that they were focused on their business was most important mm -hmm. um, but then over the last six months or so i've had some things happen in my own life that are just you know kind of telling me it's time to do something different mm -hmm. and uh, personal stuff that that's happened and so it's time and it's a good time um, because it's much like anytime you're selling real estate it's not about the market right it's about what you do so despite right. this complicated market I'm excited about launching this new venture. Well, I'm excited for you. It's always exciting when you're launching a new venture, you're stepping out, you know, on your own. You have a lot of years of knowledge that you're pulling for. And it is a complicated market, as you said. And it's it's changing all over the country. And of course, I've been back and forth to Nashville a lot, and I've been looking at things and, you know, it's different all around the country, but a lot of the things I think we're seeing with the recent change and shift is, of course, inflation and the rising interest rates are kind of making the market not what it was even like two weeks ago from what I've been told is that, you know, especially in Nashville, they were just having people come in from other states and they were just cash offers, yep. not even like mm -hmm. looking at the property, sight unseen and well above what it was 
priced at. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm understanding it's, it's, it's kind of normalizing a, a little bit there. Inventory up there has been low. Um, what are we here in Louisiana? What's, what's going on? Uh, with us around the state of Louisiana and in Baton Rouge that you're seeing. So it's really interesting. Since March of 2020, we in the Baton Rouge area specifically, we have seen, it's like a dance. Anytime a, a property came on the market, when we look at that on a monthly basis, the pendings would follow. Like they would dance with each other. So pendings were a product of the market as it related to new listings. And so what's interesting is that continued to dance together until March of this year. So it's interesting that you're saying that, right? That's been a mm-hmm. couple of months now. Right. And then we start to see some, some separation where not everything that's going on the market is immediately going under contract. And that's really what you're talking about right. and what we're starting to feel. When you, in, in Baton Rouge in general, we have four months of inventory looking at the whole market, or at least we did back in March of 2020. And when you say four months of inventory, tell folks, what does that mean when yes. you're talking that? So no, what that means is, is that if you have 50 houses on the market, mm-hmm. right? And um, you have, there, there are 10 of them that go under contract every month. That's five months of inventory. It. Okay. So it's going to take five months for everything that's on the market to go under contract. Got it. All things equal. And so we were at four months at the big, sort of the beginning of last year. We're at a month now. And, but, but here's what I want, because I can see your eyes going, ah, oh, it's mm-hmm. just like Nashville. But what I decided to do after you and I talked, Kay, was is that I really believe I'm, a ma- I, I'm not a master of the market. I'm a student of the market. And I think that what happens is, is we get into this environment where one size fits all. So what I'm telling Mm -hmm. you right now, our listeners are hearing it and they're like, oh my gosh, well, why isn't my house that might be on the market not not moving or going under contract? Mm -hmm. So what I decided to do was, is to really kind of break it down if we've got just a few minutes. Absolutely, we need. And getting more specific so that your listeners can understand which of the markets they fit in and what it really looks like for them. Because where we get into trouble is when we listen to myself or the news the overall. and we just paint the we right. paint it with one swift brush and and I think we do ourselves a disservice particularly for consumers um, as it relates to them buying or selling mm-hmm. so but I do want to tell you just a little bit about interest rates you know there because what I what I want us to be cautious of and cognizant of is buying power anytime interest rates go up buying power gets affected, but it really gets affected in that first time home buyer, that mm-hmm. under 250,000. Um, and let me just give you an example. Interest rates, a $300,000 purchase at a 4% rate is $1,289 a month in principal and interest. That same house at 5.5% is $1,533. It's two, almost $250 a month difference. and. That's a lot of money for... Yes, when people are looking at their monthly income and what they can buy. Absolutely. So that's the one thing that I think we have to be cognizant of moving forward in this market is where will those interest rates go Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully levelize out so that we can get to your point, more levelized market. So let me just tell you a little bit about our... Uh, under 350. So this mm-hmm. is the under 350. It makes up the majority of the market. Um, and what's interesting is this this market is not affected like the other price points we're going to see. Okay. Demand is driven by number of new listings. The number, and this is through May. This is through the whole month of May. Uh, and so this market is, it is, if you've got a quality um, priced right home, it's going to sell. The challenge with this particular price band is that there's 700 houses sitting on the market. Got it. That's a lot of houses. So there's a lot of inventory in that price in that price point? There's, in my mind, a lot of overpriced inventory. Got it. Because I, one thing I do think that buyers aren't doing as much anymore, and that is, in this price category, they don't have all that extra cash, like you're talking about right. in Nashville, to make up the difference. Right. So that's really kind of interesting. So 
average days on market there are 17 days. So if your house has been sitting for 50 or 60 or 70 days, you might want to consider another strategy mm -hmm. if you need to get it sold. Ooh, so we go only fast. have about a minute, but hey, we're going to have you hang over after that. So perfect. So you know, I can, give I us can a share little bit more. that we can get out in a, okay. in a minute, and then yeah. we'll continue on. So um, what's interesting is so the. 350 to 700, these are the folks where the cooling has taken place, Kay. Um, this is where buyer demand is, is trailing off regardless of the number of new listings that come on the market. Mm -hmm. Got to be cognizant of that. The, the, pri the price band with the largest buyer demand increase is over 700, which okay. is incredible. Um, which is crazy. 54% over last month. So if you're in that market now that they still have a lot of houses to sell, they're about four months of inventory. So if you need to be out in two months, you might want to consider price reductions. But that is what's happening in our market. But the last thing I want to leave you with, 14 mm -hmm. seconds, when you still only have one or two months of inventory um, available, that's still a, seller, a very healthy seller's market. We just need to be cognizant of inflation and interest rates as it relates to that moving forward. Absolutely. And we are going to have more. So y'all stay put in the next segment because she has got lots more information on where things are going to be going in the real estate market. Indeed. Yeah. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. The use of opioids and addiction to opioids is on the rise, especially in Louisiana, and I wanted to be a part of the solution. If you have a family member or loved one that you are concerned about with regard to opioid use, please call my clinic, Advantage Health Solutions. You can speak with my nurse or you can speak with myself, and we will talk to you about how to get that person into treatment, and we'll tailor what we do to your needs, and we'll do what we can to get your loved one in treatment and onto the path to health. As AmeriCorps members and volunteers, we do more than talk about our core values. We take action and commit to making our community stronger. At AmeriCorps, my commitment to equity gives every student a strong start. Our compassion brings food and friendship to neighbors in need. My determination protects Sparks in my community. Now more than ever, your community needs you. What's at your core? Learn more at AmeriCorps.gov.
Whitetail Properties real estate experts Jeff Taylor and Reed Taylor understand Louisiana and Mississippi real estate. Whether you're interested in buying or selling large or small tracts of property in Louisiana or Mississippi, Jeff and Reed are the right realtors for whatever you need. Contact Jeff Taylor at 601-248-9433 or Reed Taylor at 601-248-9614. Whitetailproperties.com. Cancer is our sole focus at Mary Bird Perkins. Every decision we make is centered around furthering care and lessening the burden of this disease. That absolute focus on cancer allows us to provide breakthrough treatments as we continue to raise the bar and enhance patient outcomes as Louisiana's premier cancer care organization. Whatever cancer sends our way, together, we triumph. Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Show. I'm Dr. K. Solar in the house, continuing our conversation with Shelly Simmons, who is a realtor in the Baton Rouge area and beyond. And, and beyond. You know, we talked about your new company, but we didn't um, mention the name of it. Elevate. 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 Elevate's Elevate the hallmark. Real estate. Yes, Elevate Real Estate. Elevated agents, elevated service, elevated experience. I love it. And we are continuing our summertime fun time theme because we are now, if you're listening on radio, you can't see this, but we are sporting <laughs> some of my sunglass collection over the years. So I'm just saying, if you are listening on radio and you're not watching on TV, you might just want to go to our Facebook page at Rocket Ride Entertainment uh, for when I post the show up or our YouTube channel at Rocket Ride Entertainment so that you can see these crazy glass collection of mine because it's summertime fun time. I'm loving it. And so, you know, going on that, I mean, I've heard, you know, granted, with the price of gas and stuff, folks, I mean, a lot of folks are not traveling for vacations this year. Mm -hmm. I've heard they're kind of staying close at home. And I think a lot of people during this time started putting pools in their houses. They, they want their recreation to be at home or they don't want to go too far right. uh, from home. Right. Uh, so are you seeing like people looking for houses with pools or looking for lakeside property or something to where they feel like they're on vacation all the time? So what's interesting is, is just an aside of that, yes, pool, pools have just seen a huge increase. Outdoor kitchens, anything that allowed mm -hmm. everyone to gather and be at home uh, have, has, have just been, you know, not really taking a breath since the beginning right. of 2020. So people putting those in, but when people, you know, look for their house and they go, what do you really want to have? I mean, what do you have? Do they say, I really want a great outdoor space? Because sometimes that's not, that doesn't go with, I mean, I've learned from selling houses before. That doesn't like go necessarily with your price. It's not your square footage. But a lot of times it's it's something that somebody wants, wants and they want to look for in it, a home. 100%. And I buyers make that really, you know, clear from the standpoint that, it's almost as if there was a time, right, when ke uh, keeping rooms and these big spaces, right, indoors or in on the interior were su such a big thing. Mm -hmm. And really, we've seen that actually migrating even before COVID, but certainly after. Again, it goes back moving to outside. those big porches. That's right. Big entertaining spaces, have folks over and you know, have that variety of almost entertainment in your backyard. Yes. But another segment that's really amazing in terms of moving fast are properties on the river. Uh, oh, I camps. bet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, camps on the river, properties on the river. You you feel like you're on vacation all the time, right? You see that even you see that from Springfield over to the Diversion, even up to uh, up to the you know the northern. Parts. And when you're uh, when you're having people who are looking at listing their homes, are you seeing people migrate within the market? Like maybe they've had a traditional house in a neighborhood, and maybe they're selling that, and they're looking to move more out, either in the country or on the lake or on the river. You know, it's interesting. Um, I, I real estate really is still driven by the principles it's always been driven on, and that's death 
you know, divorce and, and, and those things happen. So I do think that there are, um, even in my own client base, what I see are clients that are right now, I've got a, a listing in Walker and they're moving even further out into the country because they feel like Walker is no longer the country rural setting that it was. And so you're not wrong about that, but I also think that the markets are always driven by, you know, weddings, divorces, death, life, right. life sure. in general. And retirement, you know. Retirement, so I absolutely. I like, go to work, and I have to be like five minutes away from work, so now I wanna like go be on the river and wake up and have coffee in the morning. Indeed, and that is why we, I think we see such a, in these entertainment properties like camps on the river, uh, they are, they have a market of their own, and there was a time when those would sit for a bit, but but not not they, really in the last two are, years. They are hopping absolutely, um, and really commanding higher prices because typically people who are buying that sort of second home resort have that extra cash in which they're willing to be able to lay that down in order to get their mm -hmm. sort of fun property that they want. Are you seeing some people like uh, make those be their primary homes uh, now? Like, because I mean, is there like more work from home? I can do it anywhere. And they're looking at those resort type homes for their primary home and not a second. Yeah, I don't disagree. But what we also see are people who are just moving in general to other resort areas like Florida or to, to, to Orange Beach. And uh, I know the market, because I'm pretty familiar with the market in Pensacola Beach, you know, that there's no inventory there and prices have literally almost doubled in the last four years. Which so is crazy. And so, and a lot of our folks are used to going down there in vacation. So if they're at retirement thing, if they're like, they're like, you know, I'm just going to make it full time, you know, retirement vacation. A hundred percent. Or they just go back and forth. Right, because right. to so your they point, have a second home. they have a second and they home, go back and, forth. and you just yes. use both of them um, mm -hmm. to your advantage. Yeah. But let's talk about New Orleans, the New Orleans yeah, market. Okay, like, and we need to have a glass change. Oh, I mean, we okay. Got, we're out of, so, so we're like sharing all of ours. And being that we talked with Andrew Solto with Sugarfield I'm, I'm Distillery, this, this I'm going to go with drinking glasses. Oh. You know, so. These are like my beach margarita glasses if I was going to have a second property. And it even like matches your on, fabulous on the lake earrings. or something. Yes. Indeed. And so you are post Memorial Day, but you can be patriotic every day and it goes with your red shirt. I'm going patriotic. I'm, I'm going patriotic. Yeah. Right there. Woo. So, um, you know what's interesting about and we didn't mention New Orleans. Um, and the New Orleans market as it relates to the the data that I have encompasses Tanchpo Parish, you know, um, St. Tammany and down into the, into New Orleans proper, mm -hmm. you know, their market is just as, um, dynamic as the Baton Rouge market. And what I mean by that is same thing, low inventory and really high buyer demand over the really? last few months. Because, you know, I'm like thinking, uh, just with a lot of Metro areas, uh, around the country, folks are tending to move out because of the increased crime rates in some of the, you know, major cities. So you're not really seeing that for real estate. Not really seeing that. Uh, and so I think that was that's an interesting, to your point, an interesting dynamic that I didn't consider well, when I, mean, I was reviewing it's that. Been, you know, when you look at a lot of major cities around, they're moving either out into the suburbs or they're moving to other, what they consider safer metro areas, because of the increased crime that seems to have happened all over the country, yes. you know, post COVID. And so certainly we know that we've had that, you know, in, in New Orleans uh, recently. So that's not affecting their real estate market. Well, and remember, so this goes that back to painting, surpasses, that right? painting, <laughs> a painting with a swift brush, right? Yes. So from the standpoint, that was sort of the generalization. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that we had time to break that down, but mm -hmm. It's certainly, again, if you're in the New Orleans metro, you need to talk with somebody about your specific kind of market. Because there's probably certain pods areas that it, are more hot than others. Okay, it's all hyper-local. And so I'm always cautious of any professional, real estate professional or otherwise, who, again, just makes generalizations mm -hmm. on real estate that happens literally within you know, certain, you certain streets, look certain at neighborhoods, neighborhoods it, within the city. Absolutely. Yes. I, I call them personalities, personalities right? Yes. yes. Because personalities, personalities are making, made up by more than just, uh, um, 
the country club of Louisiana, right? right. Or, or, or country club West. Right. They're always in my mind, a, a, an assimilation of similar styles and similar types of neighborhoods in which mm -hmm. they were built and the people that live there, et cetera. Well, we're going to do a glass change. And okay, our last one. My last this is my question. favorite one. So, and you know, here I'm like the rock and roll lifestyle girl, right here with the guitars on the eyes. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm telling off. And okay, you, what am I? I? I'm thinking you're Led Zeppelin over there. <laughs> I'm like, you are Led Zeppelin. Okay, and everything is red. Woo! <laughs> I know. It's it's, it's great. It's it great. Is. Red, white, and blue. And uh, yeah. So. Um, Last question here, if, if someone's listening, they're a buyer or they're a seller, mm -hmm. what kind of quick advice can you give them in like, you know, about a minute? Um, yeah, so I see that, 111. Buyers really, um, they shouldn't be um, sort of discouraged by what's happening. There are, to my point, particularly in that lower 350 price range, there's still a lot of houses for sale which means that not everything on the market is gone. So there's still opportunity for probably making a pretty decent offer of properties that have been sitting for a bit and are likely overpriced. Mm -hmm. But get with a mortgage professional. Um, you know, get with a mortgage professional and get that lined up so you're ready to make a move if you find something amazing. Right. But please talk with someone so we can get, we can, you know, understand what your needs are. If you're a seller and you are thinking about selling, um, at this point in the market, we usually see always a contraction from a cycle perspective. Uh, so you probably you need to get with a professional who understands markets at the level that I was talking about, so that they can uh, so that they can make a good decision for what's best for them. Well, I'm thinking we need to have Shelly back. And thank you so much, Shelly Simmons. Y'all make sure and connect with her if you're a buyer or a seller. And make sure if you're going to rock it, you rock it right. Woo! <laughs>